Hey guys, Gary Dean, GMFD Audio. Um, I've been working on something today. I'm in my very messy garage, I apologize. I've been working on some stuff today. Let me just get right to it. So, I built something call that I call a Foxy Box. It is uh, foam, what you see here, this insulation. Foam with epoxy over it. So, foam and epoxy equals Foxy. Um, so I call it my Foxy Box, uh, trademark, patent pending, all that drama, because you know, you got to protect what you're doing these days. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I have been needing to either purchase or build something for my side-by-side -side for a while, and I know we're not talking about the base car, we're not talking about the work van, which I mentioned in the last video, we have other stuff we're doing too and all of that we're my adl camino still at the shop so we're working on this today and kind of where i'm at with this is if you'll notice i have everything cut out to go where it needs to go these are the side pieces here now let me grab this actually i hold everything together with uh, just plastic toothpicks that I cut in half. So, before I start glassing this thing, and uh, just so you know, the reason why I use epoxy, even though it's more expensive than fiberglass, um, and it takes freaking forever to deal with and cure and all of that, um, the reason why I use the foam and the epoxy, or the epoxy specifically, is because epoxy won't damage the foam. If you start putting some, uh, if you start putting fiberglass all up on this foam, it's going to eat it. It just eats it. So, fiberglass doesn't generally work well when you're dealing with foam. But the cool part about the foam, and look, I'm no. I would consider myself a little bit of an audiophile, but I would not consider myself a professional audiophile where all, all I do all day every day is seek out the best quality sound. Um, I'm not that incredibly picky. However, when I built the first one of these five or six years ago, um, I immediately could tell that the acoustics in the box were far better than a wooden box. Um, and if you'll notice, no stranger to wood either. Got a couple of sheets of nice uh, birch ply that I'll be doing something with. Probably building the SPL box. But I'm pretty sure that one of these boxes will work fine. Uh, in fact, I'm going to build one of these Foxy boxes for the one SCAR 18, which I do have. Actually, I have two 18s, an SDR and a ZVX 18B2D1. Um, so that's what we're going to be running in the... 98 Honda Civic for base, but this is for the side-by-side, -side, like I said. Uh, we will notice uh, in, improved quality just because of the foam. A lot of uh, really high-end brands put foam inside their speaker cabinets uh, to improve the acoustics, or I, I should say some of them. I haven't researched that. Um, I just did a little bit of research, and that's what I came up with. So when it comes to uh, this box situation the cool part about it is it's incre incredibly light so one of these foxy boxes is roughly one third lighter than the birch and the birch is lighter than the mdf i think a sheet of mdf is a little over 90 pounds uh, a sheet of birch is around 61 pounds i believe um, and then well a sheet of half inch insulation styrofoam uh, weighs what one two pounds and then you've got epoxy which weighs about nine pounds per gallon and um, while I'm mentioning all this stuff I got all this crap in the way I'm sorry uh, while I'm talking to you about this I will go ahead and show you well I moved it I had it in the back on the video yesterday um, this is a uh, this is one I, I threw together, and you can see 
construction is solid, but I, I didn't, I haven't finished anything. I didn't do any finishing work, nothing. I threw it together to throw it in here because I wanted to hear how it sounded in the van with these two uh, Scar SDR8s. Um, I got about 200 watts running of these things right now uh, from my Memphis amp that's underneath the seat in the front. You can't see it, but it's there's some wiring with back there. But anyway, so this thing is pretty badass. It's super robust. I built it strong. Um, but this is the Foxy box. It's not so Foxy right now. If you'll notice, I tried to tint the epoxy. I'm trying to trying different things as far as how to finish them and all of that stuff. But um, because I've I built them, they've been very functional. They've been awesome. Everybody's loved them. The sound quality is is incredible over regular wood. But beyond that, they're at least a third lighter uh, than anything you'd build birch ply out of. So, for example. Um, this box by itself weighs 30 and a half pounds. So right at 30 pounds, this thing weighs, uh, you can expect for the equivalent birch situation. Uh, I would imagine this is a cute two, just over two cube box. Um, you'd be seeing what about 45 pounds, 50 pounds or so with the birch. Um, if I had to guess, but anyway, so that's just thrown in there. I did notice I did try to make it green on the bottom and purple on the top. It's kind of my colors, but anyway, I'm working on this Foxy box for my side by side. It is going to get four of these Marine series Kenwoods. Um, those are going to go there. It's going to go in the center. I'll show you. Uh, and then Nothing real fancy. I'm going to run this uh, Planet Audio uh, gauge radio in there. Um, my plan is to also put a voltmeter in there. Um, I'll probably cut the hole for this later, but it's going to go in there. So I have a voltmeter. I don't need USB up there because I have US. Oh, I have a 12 volt outlet uh, a little lower than this in the side by side, and I don't really need more than that to be perfectly honest but i do want a voltmeter in there and i will most likely either run it to the ignition or put a switch in there so without further ado let me grab this and we'll go outside to the side by side and i'll show you exactly what's happened okay so this is my 2019 can-am maverick trail uh the uh, small 50 inch wide version so up on, I've got the sport roof from Can-Am, and you notice the roll bar is there and there. So, let me just get in here real quick. All right, so this guy is going to live right here. If you'll notice, it's going to be right there between the roll bar it's going to sit right there and I've got brackets that I'll mount it up there with but that's where the radio is going to go should be super duper super duper awesome when I'm done but that's the plan so now time to glass this bad boy up and uh once I get it all glassed up, I will um, finish it better, make it look pretty, and then this weekend, hopefully I'll be able to use it when we take this side-by-side uh, -side up to Ocala National Forest to ride this bad boy. So um, that's the first part of the Foxy Box for my can -Am Maverick Trail. Um, I will bring you back. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this video now. I'm going to make this part one and then there'll be part two, obviously. So part one of this whole thing is basically figuring out what dimensions you need, where you need it to go, what you're trying to, you know, run that kind of thing, uh, whether it's for your side-by-side -side or a car, doesn't matter. You got to figure out your dimensions that you have to work with, um, and then figure out the volume of the box. Uh, we're using just some, uh, 
coaxial two-way six and a half so nothing fancy doesn't need a big box or whatever uh, I just needed a an enclosure to put it in uh, and a way a place to mount the radio because if you'll notice there's nowhere to mount the radio in here there's no no place big enough I was telling you I've got a 12 volt adapter it's right here so I can I can run pretty much anything I want this little area is not big enough for radio there's just nowhere to put a radio um, so putting it right in your face is pretty a pretty good deal I do have nice clamps I'm gonna use with that box when it's all said and done to hold them up there uh, while we're pounding the trails but but anyway you just got to figure out what your parameters are you're working with the box volume of the subwoofers you're trying to build this box for um, everybody worries about fiberglass not being real strong generally you see like 110 or 112 inch low powered woofer in a fiberglass box people are scared of these things i've been beating the absolute piss out of these boxes forever i build them strong plenty of bracing um plenty of epoxy um, i'm also using different types of uh, cloth and mat to strengthen the whole situation. Um, I've been doing this for a while. I know that they work. I know the haters and the skeptics are gonna be, oh my God, that's never gonna work for a subwoofer. Well, when I put my 18 ZVX in there, we're gonna see. So I am gonna build uh, an SPL box uh, to compete with out of the uh, foam and epoxy, make it a Foxy box. I'm gonna build the exact same box with Birch and then um, with the meter that I have on the way, the SPL meter, we're going to see which one's louder, if anything. I mean, this is a way for you guys to tell. But anyway, I've been building them for a while. They sound better than a regular wooden box. And they're also at least one third or more lighter than a traditional box. So basically, if you've got a sports car and you want a really, really nice custom tuned and built uh, box we could do a foxy box for you where it's lighter sounds better and well that's really all you need over a regular wood box but so it's nothing I mean it's kind of new and exciting I haven't seen anybody on the internet do a box like this I've in fact I've not noticed anything at all uh, in fact all of the boxes uh, that I've seen with fiberglass use regular fiberglass resin which again incredibly potent smell that takes forever to go away uh in my experience no vocs that's volatile organic compounds yes you can probably tell that i own a detailing product line so no volatile organic compounds so when i'm using it i'm not smelling it when i put it in a car i'm not smelling it uh they function properly sound awesome and they're lighter than any traditional box uh, generally with fiberglass, you're going to use a wood bottom and maybe a wood back and then everything in the front and then wood to hold your, uh, speaker, um, your speaker rings up with. So these have zero wood. I'm actually using the, the styrofoam, which is completely sealed. Uh, in fact, I'll be building one for my boat as well, since I'm getting back into this whole thing. So I'm building a box for 110 on my boat, um, completely waterproof and awesome and did i mention they sound great so anyway um i'll do more demos well i'll do some demos i'll show you exactly what's happening but i just wanted to show you this thing right now i'm going to go ahead and get it back in the garage and shoot part two which will be me glassing this thing uh and then part two might be the glassing and then after that will be part three which uh hopefully i'll get it shoved in this bad boy and get it running so that's the foxy box and it applies to anything you want. Um, they're real strong guys, I'm telling you. You do not have to worry about a box rattling apart. Um, I am working with a couple of different ways to finish this. Uh, carpet paint, that's traditional, I don't love it. Um, I do have epoxy uh, pigments and I'm still working on that and you saw the other box. Um, I wanna finish the other box cause it was built for the Civic. Um, when I don't want to run that competition sub and I want to drive the civet, um, I'm going to pull a competition box out and then put something smaller in there. Those eight slam, man. They slam in that box. They sound awesome. Uh, but I'm going to finish this thing up and we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. If you got questions, 
uh, for me, leave them in the comments or you can message me directly. Um, I put my phone number in the, basically the uh, entry to the video on every video. So 813-846-4406. If you got questions for me, if you want to help me improve, I mean, you know, whatever, you know, it takes all kinds. So if you need me, the cell phone number is there. But uh, I'm going to get back to working on this. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.